What's up YouTube? My name's Dan. This is my 2018 STI. Figured I'd just make a quick overview slash review and why I decided to go with a new STI opposed to other cars in the same price range. Um, long story short, it's a lot of car for the money. I used to have a 13 WRX. It's one of the best cars I've ever owned. I live in New York, obviously. And here, we get decently long winter, snow. So that's a big factor right there, having all wheel drive, getting through the winter, and the practicality of having four doors, a large trunk, and just an all around, all season vehicle. This is exactly what I needed, opposed to two cars, which I had prior. I had a truck and an RX-8. So I decided to consolidate and get one car instead. Now, for the 18, they made a few changes. They changed the bumper. They changed a few interior bits. Personally, I think the bumper looks awesome like this. I like the carbon fiber bit on the bottom. I like the new grille. It looks a little more aggressive. Um, it's got steering responsive headlights. So when you're turning, they aim with you, which is a nice feature. And other than that, it's mainly the same platform. The car still makes, they claim, around 305 horsepower. A lot of dynos I've been looking at for the 18s have been getting around 265 to 270 at the wheels, which actually equates to almost 320 horsepower, which I wouldn't be surprised depending on the conditions. Now, yes, the powertrain is older. It's been in these cars for over a decade now, more than that, but if it's not broken, why well, fix it? What's going on? So I decided to go with this and I chose this over the regular WRX because I'm older now. I'm not that old. I'm 28. I don't want to mod my cars as much as I've been doing. But this car had everything I wanted. It came with the large wheels. It came with the Brembos. It came with a nice interior. It came with the adjustable differentials, the SI drive, HIDs. So instead of paying extra for these things that will come on the WRX, for example, HIDs, that's a package, part of the premium package, a nicer interior. It, it all pretty much comes with the base STI. And that's what I got, I got a base. I spent 36 five on this base STI which I think is a very reasonable deal it's a lot of car for the money for an extra around four or five grand you can get the limited which will get you the more leather wrapped for caros it'll get you like, I think it's keyless entry push start um, a few other options like that a sunroof of course you can get those features but in my eyes um, I, I really don't need them it mainly comes down to the driving experience and that's what I wanted so that's why I went with the base and honestly it's more than enough I love it the interior is nice it's very well built uh, and for essentially what is a track car it handles terrifically obviously and it also drives very well you know it comes with 19 inch wheels now relatively thin tires but it's very smooth on the roads, even with the stiff suspension. Unless you're going over a really shitty concrete road, it's not bone jarring. It's a very comfortable, enjoyable ride in my eyes. And I would take the stiffer suspension, a sportier car any day, over something that's a little more luxurious per se. But ultimately, I've had the car, it is a 2018, I've had it for a month and a half now I just hit a thousand miles and I love every bit of it I came back to this car because like I said I had a 13 WRX and it's one of the best cars I ever owned and I said if I ever get one of these again I'm gonna spend extra money and get an STI and I definitely do not regret it so I'm gonna show you the interior now
These are the seats you get on the base model. It's ultra suede in the middle with leather on the sides. It doesn't say Recaro up top. It has the STI logo embedded in it, which is nice. Nice red stitching, nice red accents, nice red seat belts. STI carpet floor mats, beautiful leather wrapped steering wheel. Um, they changed these trim pieces from carbon fiber to piano black. It looks real nice. It all comes together very well. Um, you know, you're not buying a Mercedes. You're not buying a BMW. It's not going to have as much technology. You don't have blind spot detection like on the limited STI. But for me, it's about the driving experience. It's about having a quick car that has all-wheel drive, that looks good, that sounds great. Now, I really don't care about the extra amenities. It'd be nice to have, but I don't even use navigation. My past cars that have had nav, I, I never use it. But I have a touchscreen. It's nice. It's large enough for me. You could change the settings on it. The gauges are beautiful. Everything just comes together well. Subaru paid attention. They know what people do. They put boost gauges in their car, so they integrated one on this screen up here. Everything that makes this car better was eventually integrated into it over the years, and I'm very happy with that. And yes, like I mentioned previously, the powertrain is older. They've had it for a little while now, but once again, if it's not broken, why fix it? This thing is a very sturdy platform, and over 300 horse is still pretty damn good, even in 2018, and will continue to be good. Um, another reason why I got this car is because if you're not happy with that, it's probably the easiest car to modify. All you have to do is purchase an access port, plug it in, flash the thing, it takes a few minutes, and within a matter of, like I said, a few minutes, the thing is substantially faster. It's like night and day performance difference. And then if you add a downpipe to that, you could flash it and go right to stage two. You will notice an even more substantial difference. Point being, it's very easy to modify, and um, in my eyes, that's another reason why I got it. I'm gonna fire it up. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like, what it sounds like. Now, the car's brand new. It's fully stock except a catback. I put a Nvidia R400 catback on it. Um, it sounds good stock they made nicer i guess you could say muffler system on it. it came with nice polished tips they weren't that big it looked good but it's too quiet one of the main reasons why i got this car is it, the rumble is just awesome it just always reminded me of a, a almost like a v8 distinct noise coming from a four cylinder it's just it's it sounds fantastic um it sounds like no other car on the road and it's it's very easy to make it sound good. So that's all I wanted to do. I put an R400 on it. It's it's not quiet. This is not super loud. It's it's literally perfect. I would I would really recommend the exhaust to anyone who's looking to just get a cat back. Uh, it's three inch diameter, but I'll go over that later. So as you can see, these are the gauges. It's pretty similar to the 15 model year and higher, obviously. Um, you have your different modes here. You've got sport mode, which is for average driving. Um, you got intelligent mode, which is for city driving, fuel economy. And then you got sport sharp mode, which is for maximum boost, maximum throttle response. So uh, in my eyes, that's, that's really all it does is change the throttle response. So if you're in intelligent mode and you stop on the gas, it's not going to feel as peppy. It's almost like the placebo effect. But if you rev it out, it'll get to that point. Some people say the boost is capped. I don't know. I like going fast, so when I want to drive it hard, I just hit traction, put it on track mode there, or you can hold the button, shut it off completely. And I put it on sport sharp. Sport sharp usually yields the highest boost in my eyes. I just reset it, so it's only at 16.3, but I usually hit like mid 17s, high 17s, which is pretty good for a, a stock STI. It's a good amount of boost for a uh, stock turbo so I'm happy with that um, yeah just pretty looking gauges 
pretty looking steering wheel. I love the red accents. Um, the touchscreen here is nice. It's, I mean, I don't need a crazy amount of technology. I don't need a Tesla screen. I don't need a huge layout. This gets the job done. It's responsive. It sounds good. You could adjust it. You could change the back colors. All the videos I see of this, people have the stock blue screen. If you go into settings, you could change the backdrop color. So I changed it to red. In my eyes, it looks much better because now it matches all the red accents. You could change that. You could put a solid picture here, which looks cool. Um, other than that, it, it doesn't have nav, but it's got Bluetooth. You know, it reads your text to you when you get texts. Uh, it's got all these other features, which is cool. It shows weather, it shows stocks, if you're into that stuff, Pandora, connects to all that. Um, you know, once again, I, I got the car to drive it. It's a driver's car. It's cool little features to have, but I don't need all those extra things. Um, now up here, you have the boost gauge. It's digital. I think it's pretty accurate. Jeez, it's 99 degrees. I don't think it's that hot right now, but it is warm right now. In the Long Island summertime, you got a few other things here on the gauge. You could change it though. You could set it up to however your heart desires. You could change these three meters to your liking. So you could put gas mileage, boost, acceleration. Um, this just shows the tilt degrees on the vehicle, which I really don't see the point of it. I, it's cool, I guess. Um, but this is how I had it set up, acceleration, so you can see a harder mesh in the pedal, boost, and then your average MPG. Um, right now my MPG isn't that good because I've been driving it hard, I just hit a thousand miles, so I've been pounding on it. But honestly, when I got this car, I was playing around in intelligent mode and I was driving it like a normal person, I was getting like 24 miles to the gallon, no problem. And a lot of people are like, oh, this car gets shitty gas balance. Listen, it's a sports car, I don't expect to buy a sports car and get good gas mileage if you're concerned about 10 extra miles to the gallon or whatever it may be chances are this isn't the right car for you or any other sports car really uh, I'll, I'll happily take anything over 15 miles to the gallon to be honest with you because I don't go that far and I've had a few trucks in the past and they only get like 11 12 miles to the gallon so that's fine and if I drive it somewhat conservatively I'll get 20 plus, so that's all good with me. Um, it's got the six speed. Uh, these trannies on these cars are, are very solid. I mean, they've been reviewed very highly. They've gotten the job done for years. They hold a lot of power. Uh, it's a six speed, obviously, unlike the WRX, which is a five speed. It has shorter gears, though. So it, it equates down the long run, but the shorter gears, it's more a track-oriented car. That's why it has those gears set up like that. And you, some days you feel it. If you're getting on it real hard, you'll pound it, and then you'll be like, oh, it's time to shift gear already. Oh, it's time to shift gear already. So you fly through them quick, but, you know, I, it's nice having the six gear. If you are driving conservatively, you can put it in high gear, and you can get better gas mileage. Um, SI drive. I've left it in auto since I got it. It's fully electrical now. You can send more power to the front. You can send more power to the rear. I haven't found a need for it yet. It's a cool feature. I mainly use this. Like I said, if I'm in city traffic trying to save gas, I'll put an intelligent. You know, if I'm just cruising, whatever, quick ride, I'll leave it in sport. If I'm planning on having fun, I'll throw it in sport sharp. Um, when I first got the car, I definitely noticed the difference. I didn't have it in sport sharp for the first two weeks. I put it in sport sharp, gave it some gas. And you just feel that the, the turbo just build up boost and it takes off. It's awesome. I definitely love it. Um, so, the seats I love, very comfortable. Not electric. That comes with the limited model. It's all good in my eyes. I really don't need these extra amenities. They're comfortable. They're nice. It looks beautiful. I'm very happy with the interior. Um, the rear, same story. You know, they carried that red and black theme throughout with the red seat belts. Very nice. They put the suede throughout. Very comfortable. Very nice. And nobody sat back here yet. <laughs> That's why I don't need that big of a car. I don't need that big of a truck. I ain't married yet. I don't have kids. So hopefully.
hopefully this will last and do the job for a little bit longer. I'll show you guys the trunk now. The trunk, this is a practical car. You have a lot of space in this thing. The trunk is large. I don't need to carry that much stuff around, but if you do, it it seems like more than enough room for me. I got my little tote here filled with detailing supplies. I got a few other little things, but in my eyes, it's more than enough. You got the back seats, you got the headroom. It's just plenty of space. That's what makes it an overall practical car. And for a four-door car, the thing boogies. I mean, it's a quick car. In my eyes, it's a no-brainer. You got the spoiler, the iconic STI spoiler. Personally, I love it. A lot of people are like, oh, it's a boy racer spoiler. Listen. The mature adults I speak to, and I consider myself one, I'm almost 30, love it for what it is. If you know the brand, if you know STI, you'll see how fitting it is. And sometimes people take it the wrong way, they get butt hurt, maybe they got a slower car, maybe they got spanked by an STI, they're like, oh, it's very immature. I know people with Mercedes, Porsches, and they love it for what it is, personal preference, but I think it's awesome and it's functional it's not like it's just for aesthetics when you're going over 100 miles an hour 120 the thing does create downforce so it is there for a reason that's the nvidia r400 i got the titanium tips i wanted to get the chrome tips because the car is already popping a lot it's this bright pure red which i didn't intend on getting first but it's the last one they had the 19s are almost coming out this is the last STI they had in a lot and once I saw it in person I was like I really like red and I got a lot of compliments on it so I'm glad I went with that it is hard to keep clean but I detail myself so uh, it's just it's just a matter of keeping on top of it you know I've been putting a lot of time into it uh, it's only got 1100 miles but I did detail it I did polish it uh, I buffed it um, you know I got my kit back there I do everything with and when it's clean, it looks real good. So that's the exhaust. The Brembo's I love. I personally love the color. It pops very well. I love these wheels. This is why I spent the extra buck because everything I would do to the WRX, WRX, <laughs> almost fumbled over my own words there. WRX, this car already has. It's got the larger brakes. It's got the drilled rotors. It's got the beautiful 19 inch BBS wheels. It's got the larger intercooler. It's got the bigger engine, which still maintains that super rumble. You're not gonna hear that from the new WRX, mainly due to the header length. Um, the STI still has unequal length headers, and the new FA20 on the WRXs has equal length headers, so. It sounds, in my eyes, I still like the car, but it sounds like a regular four-cylinder. I mean, you could still get some rumble out of it, but it's just, it's not the same as these EJ motors. Um, the brakes obviously got larger from the old ones. There's six pistons in the front right now. And they're huge. <laughs> they're fucking awesome. Excuse my language, but they really are awesome. The brake kit alone, I was looking at Subi Speed is four grand for just the fronts four grand so think about how much you're spending on an sti opposed to a wrx when you add up the items individually it's going to be more than the difference opposed to a limited model wrx which is around what 30 grand now i think a base is 27 and i spent 36 on this so you could spend up to 35 grand on the wrx so in my eyes this was worth it. It's definitely worth it. That's pretty much it. I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna try to get down this little incline. I'm rolling a bit here. Cause I wanna show you guys what the daytime running lights look like. The e-brake's gotta be off for this, so. Come on. Stop rolling. Come on. Come on. Jeez, I'm really on an incline here. <laughs> oh, 
Oh shit. Come on. Uh, wow, apparently this is a uh, larger incline than I thought. There we go. Now I got out in the sun, it looks a little better. Those are the daytime running lights, of course, the STI comes stock. Stock, well it comes, the base model comes with HIDs, no matter what, whether you get the limited or the regular version and in my eyes that was also worth it I'm definitely an HID guy I think it looks substantially better it definitely helps at night and I wasn't even aware that they had the adaptive steering HIDs until I purchased the car that was definitely a nice surprise awesome feature when you turn on the car you'll see the projectors go both ways and kind of focus in the middle which is really cool and at first it's funky when you're driving you'll cut the wheel and you'll see the headlights dart in one direction you cut the opposite way they go back but it's cool it helps if you're out late at night and you're on dark road and you're going quick, you can't always see around bends and that's that's a nice safety feature. It's definitely smart. I like that. So that's the new grill. I like it a lot. Probably gonna put a lip on it. You know, I don't want to go crazy. It's a brand new car. I don't plan on avoiding the warranty. A catback will not do that. Catback also doesn't require a tune, so that's why I did that. Um you know ultimately very happy with uh, the car in stock form. I just want it a little louder and that's why I got an STI. Because it has everything I would want to do to a base WRX or just do in general. From the brakes to the wheels to the wing to cosmetics. And I'm very happy with that. So before I wrap this video up you guys a little taste of the exhaust gotta just find something to put my phone on just bear with me one second all right so hopefully this works let's test it out 